What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Risk Coin Buster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $200 million buy-in. And they're actually letting us bring our own quarters from previous games. We got like a thousand of them. Well actually 1,100 of them because they gave us an extra 100 quarters since I did that $200 million buy-in. So anyhow, we're going to be putting a thousand quarters in there at one time today using that skill stop button. So let's go ahead and find a good place to stop the pusher. I think that's a good place right there. So let's go ahead and load this thing up. So this right here is by far the most expensive buy-in I've ever done before. So I think this is a new world record buy-in also. I don't think anybody's ever done a $200 million buy-in. So anyhow, this is super, super risky. If we can't get it to go, we're going to be down $200 million today, so we're going to have to play our quarters right. I think we're making a pretty smart decision putting a thousand quarters in there at once. I tried a thousand quarters at once like five or six times already, and each time it's worked out incredibly well. Matter of fact, last time we put a thousand quarters in there at once, we got all them towers that was on the playfield to crash down at one time, so... Hopefully we can do that on this game right here. So anyhow, they got this thing stacked up incredibly well. Looks like a massive tower of $10,000 chips, gold bars, and $5,000 chips back there on the moving platform. They got a massive wall of chips around that. Has some $1,000 chips, $5,000 chips, and $10,000 chips. They got so many gold towers in there today. Goodness, I'd say there's at least like... 200 ounces of gold or something and I'm seeing three mister bags in there There's a brown one on that left gold tower That's on the blue shelf and a red one on the right gold tower that's on the blue shelf So we might be able to win those later on. We'll see. We'll see how the game goes And there's a sky blue mister bag behind that big old wall up front And they got two quarter towers on the left and the right hand side they got a humongous pyramid of quarters right there in the center. That'll probably fall off there like almost instantly. And I'm seeing, looks like four dice in there. There's two white dice and two gold dice. The white dice, if we win them, we'll get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on. My winnings will multiply by those numbers. And the gold dice, if we win them, we'll get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on. The gold will multiply by those numbers. So anyhow, that right there was a thousand quarters at once. And we're going to save an extra hundred just in case that doesn't do much. So come on, big money. Oh yeah, nice. We got that quarter pyramid to go. Sweet. Well, a bunch of our quarters got stuck back there, but I'm thinking that big old tower is going to crash down any moment now. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness, this is super, super intense right here. Well, a bunch of our quarters got stuck back there, unfortunately. They're trying to go. Oh, nice. They just broke free on the right side. Oh, yeah. Towers lost a whole bunch of $10,000 chips at the base of it. Oh, yeah. There it goes. It just lost a couple more. Nice. Two more $10,000 chips. Another two more. Sweet. All right. So now let's start putting those 100 quarters in. Oh, yeah. Check that out. That massive wall up front, it's about to go. And that quarter tower on the left. Oh my goodness, there it goes. Oh my goodness, nice, we got it, but almost all of it got stuck against the glass. Let's get the loot chute cleared out. See if it all falls down into the tray. This is going to be a waterfall. Y'all ready for this? Oh yeah, jackpot, baby. Wow, that was a massive waterfall we was waiting on right there. There's still a whole bunch of it stuck against the glass. So let's get the loot chute cleared out again. Alrighty, AMV coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. Oh my goodness. Nice, check that out. There was a pink mystery bag hidden inside that massive tower. It's a lot darker shade of pink than I've normally seen in there. Oh yeah, nice. Got a bunch of $10,000 chips. There's so much on the edge right now. 
especially right there in the center and on that right hand side well that loot chute it's getting pretty uh, clogged up again so let's get that cleared out real quick Alrighty, AMV coin pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So we got that loot chute all cleared out. And check that out. There's a red earbud hidden in there. So if we win that red earbud, we'll get to cash that in later on. They will take all of that stuff that's on the blue shelves. And they'll put it all into the play field somewhere. I don't get to pick what spot they put all that stuff in. But all I know is if I win that red earbud, we'll get to cash that in. And they'll put all that stuff that's on the blue shelves into the play field. So stay tuned for that. Oh yeah, bunch of ten thousand dollar chips on the edge, especially right there in the center. Come on, nice. That was like eighty to a hundred grand right there, possibly. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple more quarters. So after we win all those remaining chips out of there, I will open up that. Uh, pink mystery bag that we've won like I was saying that's a lot darker shade of pink than I've normally seen in there so hopefully that mystery bag is loaded up pretty well hoping it has something good and valuable and beneficial in there and take a guess down in the comments and let me know what you think might be in there well I would assume since this is such an expensive game like 200 million dollars there's going to be a lot of dice hidden inside those mystery bags because that would only make sense because there's definitely not $200 million worth of chips in there. So, hoping those Mr. Bags are loaded up with dice. This is pushing really, really well today so far. I was expecting this game to be a lot more difficult. But we're, seems like we're winning all these chips and towers out of there pretty easily. Right, so we only got a couple quarters left. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there already. That is absolutely fantastic right there. Like, I'll say this once again. This has been an outstanding game so far. So anyhow, let's go ahead and open up that mystery bag. Alrighty, I'm back. So I completely forgot about this sky blue mystery bag. For a while I was saying there was only one mystery bag in there. Turns out there was two, so sorry for any confusion. But anyhow, let's go ahead and start with the Sky Blue Mystery Bag. This one feels like it's stacked up pretty well. So let's see. Hopefully there's something good and valuable in there. Oh my goodness, nice. Check this out. So we got a one ounce gold bar. I'll take it. And we got 40 grand in $10,000 chips. And we got two $1 chips and a $10 chip. So both of these $1 chips right here, each one of those is worth 500 quarters. So I get to cash both of them in. That will give me an extra 1,000 quarters. That is absolutely exceptional. So I will cash those in later on. And this $10 chip right here, this is pretty much worth one free tower. So I get to cash this in and they'll let me spin a wheel. And the wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. For example, $1,000 chips, $5,000 chips, and $10,000 chips. Gold bars is an option also, and it goes as low as $10 chips, and it goes as high as $25,000 chips. Anyway, we get to spin that wheel, whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the play field. So this right here is worth one free tower. So that's not bad, not bad at all. That sky blue mystery bag was loaded up pretty well. So now let's go ahead and open up this dark pink mystery bag. Like I said, I haven't seen this type of mystery bag in there before. So let's see, what do we get? Oh yeah, nice, check this out. So we got $2,000. Let's check both sides of the chips. Yep, it's $1,000 on each side. And we got four white dice. And like I said, we get to roll these at the end of the game, whatever they land on. My winnings will multiply by those numbers. So that's not bad, not bad at all. That mystery bag was loaded up incredibly well. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cash in this red earbud and they'll take all that stuff that's on the blue shelves and they'll put it into the play field. And after that, we'll cash in the $10 chip. I know I normally cash in that $10 chip first, but today I'd like to try something a little bit different. So we're gonna go ahead and cash this in and we'll be right back. Alrighty, AMV coin pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that red earbud. They took everything that was on the blue shelves and they put it all into the play field. Looks like they combined all that gold that was in there into like one enormous tower of gold right there in the center. And they put two mystery bags inside of that, the red one and the brown one. And they put all four of them dice like on the back of that gold tower. 
there's two gold dice and two white dice so hopefully we can get them out of there and I can't remember if I pointed this out earlier but there was two bounty chips in there I mean y'all probably couldn't see them but they was on top of them towers it was like stacked up really tall back there on the blue shelves but y'all can see them now if you don't know what those bounty chips are for each one of those is worth 500 free quarters on any game I choose so if I win both of them, that means I could bring up to a thousand quarters on the next game I play. And that's actually how I was able to bring a thousand quarters on this game right here. I had two of the bounty chips saved up and I just decided, why not let's go ahead and put a thousand quarters in there at one time. So I hope you all have enjoyed the video so far. Oh yeah, well that gold tower, it's like super, super close to the edge. And they uh, took all those chips that was on the blue shelves, those walls of chips. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, nice, we got that massive tower of gold. Well, the majority of it anyway. So, anyhow, what was I saying? They took all those chips and those walls of chips that was on the blue shelves, and they combined them all in like one enormous tower back there on the pusher. Has a whole bunch of $1,000 chips, $5,000 chips, and $10,000 chips. So hopefully we can get that to fall down within the next couple of minutes. But I think we should use that skill stop button to try to get these two towers on the sides. Because if you've seen previous videos, y'all know the towers on the sides sometimes take hours up on hours to fall down. And if you're wondering why the sides are so hard to win at times, it's because the quarters are just going to take the easiest route or the easiest path of travel. And that would either be around the towers or it would be down those gutters. The gutters is the reason why it's so hard to get them to the sides to move at times. And also the quarters have to be lined up perfectly for it to move them towers on the sides. Like, that's why you might see them towers on the sides move like once out of every 20 or 30 pushes or so. But the other day we found a brand new technique to load up a bunch of quarters at once like this. And uh, once we get a good base of quarters behind those towers, it seems to knock the towers over pretty easily. For a while there, it was playing anywhere from three to eight hours trying to get the towers on the sides to fall down. But now it's only taking like 30 minutes to two hours. So that's a massive game changer right there. And we're about to get that tower. Nice, we got it! Holy guacamole! Wow, look at all those $10,000 chips! Oh my goodness, we're making out like a bandit today! Wow! That was an enormous push right there! I was not expecting that tower to go! That is awesome sauce, this has been an incredible game so far! Hit that like button if you enjoyed that! thought that was incredible and also I have another question for you all y'all like it better when I cash in the red earbud or the five dollar chip first or would you want me to cash in that ten dollar chip first normally we've been cashing in that ten dollar chip first but uh today we chose to cash in that red earbud first so let me know which one you like better just let me know down in the comments and also, while you're at it, take a guess on how much money you think I'm going to make back today from a $200 million buy-in. Well, this seems to be pushing pretty well so far. we got two more mystery bags to open up, so we'll open them up after we get these remaining towers and chips out of there. So, hopefully there's something good in them mystery bags. Hopefully there's a bunch more dice. That'd be pretty nice. So, yeah, just leave a guess down in the comments and let me know how much money you think I'm going to make back today. So, anyhow, hope y'all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far. Remember, if this is your first time watching and you're enjoying the video, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I post a brand new video. Would help out tremendously. We're on the road to 130,000 subscribers. My goal is to get to 130,000 by the end of August, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, let's try to get 5,000 likes on today's episode. 5,000 likes. I know we can accomplish that. Just need all y'all watching to hit that like button. If you're enjoying the video. If you're not enjoying the video, you don't have to hit that like button. 
It is 100% up to you. Oh, wow. Both of them towers on the corners just moved forward tremendously. Did you see that? So that skill stop technique definitely works. I mean, it speeds up the gameplay by like a million percent pretty much. So we only got like maybe 60 quarters left in the bowl. Oh my goodness, nice. We got the tower on the left-hand side. That is amazing. So we got one of them bounty chips so far. It's not bad, not bad at all. All right, well, I'm going to have to go collect some quarters, and once we get back, we'll try to get that tower on the right-hand side. So let's collect some quarters. We'll get right back to work. All righty, I'm back. So before we continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up one of these mystery bags. So let's see, which one should we go with? Thinking we should start with the red one first, so let's see if there's anything good and valuable in there. It feels pretty heavy, so let's see. Oh my goodness. Wow, check this out. We got six more gold dice. Like I said earlier, we get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on. The gold will multiply by those numbers. How many gold dice does that make us in total now? Eight of them, I think. That is absolutely exceptional. And we also got the $50 chip, so if you don't know what this is for, we get to cash this in at the end of the game. They will take anything that's fallen down those side slots and they'll put it back into the play field somewhere. If you don't know this, anything that falls down the side slots, that money goes to the house. I don't get a win or keep any of that money. But whenever we cash in this $50 chip, they will take everything that we've lost to them side slots and they'll put it back into the game. So they'll pretty much give us a second chance at winning it. So that is absolutely phenomenal. So let's get right back to pushing. After we get that tower on the right hand side, I will open up that brown Mr. Bag. So stay tuned for that. And after we open up that brown Mr. Bag, I will cash in both of those $1 chips and that $10 chip. So whenever I cash in those $1 chips, they'll give me an extra 1,000 quarters. And whenever we cash in that $10 chip, we'll get to spin that wheel and whatever it lands on. That's what type of brand new tower they'll build in the play field. So stay tuned for that. More exciting gameplay coming right up. And also that uh, last round was a huge success. We made a tremendous amount of money. I think we made a little over $3 million in chips or something like that. And we got a truckload of gold. And we still got a decent amount of quarters, like probably 3,900 of them, 38, 3,900 of them. So we'll have a bunch more than that once we cash in those two $1 chips, that's for sure. And that tower on the right, it seems to be moving forward pretty well. Anyhow, getting back to what I was talking about a few minutes ago about hitting that like button and subscribing, it is 100% free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I'm not making any money when y'all hit the subscribe button or comment on the videos and hit the like button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a million percent easier for y'all to keep up with the future content. Because once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. If you hit that bell icon, it will give you the option to turn on all notifications. If you turn on all notifications, you will get notifications on your phone, TV, laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, whatever you're watching my videos on. You will get notifications every single time I upload a brand new video. And I pretty much post videos seven days a week, so don't miss out on any outstanding content. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. Like I said, I don't get paid money from it. It just helps you all out tremendously. But I appreciate everyone that subscribes and comments on the videos and stuff. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. And I'll say this again. Thank you all so much for 125,000 subscribers. Well, we actually got over that now. We got like 126,000 pretty close to that or might be over by now who knows so I appreciate all y'all and there was a lot of people told me that I wasn't good enough for this and a lot of people told me I wouldn't make it past 20 subscribers but here we are two and a half three years later got over 126,000 subscribers so thank you all so much it truly means a lot to me and that just goes to show you never give up because there's like I've said, I have lots of haters out there that try to bring me down. And uh, the main message, my main message for you all is to never give up. Because 
What if I would have given up and listened to the haters years ago? Then you wouldn't be seeing these videos today. That just goes to show you never give up and don't let anyone get in your way of achieving their goals. That's the main message. So anyhow, we're about to get that tower on the right hand side. Super, super close to the edge. I'm thinking we need to use that skill stop technique again. Let's just load up like three or four hundred quarters in that once. And I can't make a habit of doing these big buy-ins, like $200 million buy-ins, that's what I mean. I mean, I can still do like 50 to 100 million, but $200 million is super, super risky. I know it seems like I'm relaxed pretty much the whole game, but trust me, I'm like very, very nervous. I'm terrified of losing $200 million. And that's the thing about doing these big buy-ins, one wrong decision or one bad decision could cost you millions of dollars or even hundreds of millions of dollars. So it's all about playing your quarters right and uh, making the best decisions. But I think we're doing pretty well this game right here. And I'll probably do the $200 million buy-ins on special occasions. So let me know if you like this video so far. Let me know if you've been enjoying it. Oh yeah, well that tower is so close to the edge. I don't even know how it's still hanging there. So let's load up that right hand side again. We only got a couple quarters left. If we don't get it, we'll have to click some more quarters. Oh no, dropping a bunch of them on the floor. That's all right though. We'll pick them up here shortly. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness, it is so close to the edge. Wait, that second wave might get it. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, nice, we got that massive tower, that is absolutely phenomenal. Well, it looks like that bounty chip got stuck in the loot chute, it's like almost about to fall down into the pay chute, but um, got stuck in there, so let's see if some quarters will push it on down there, yeah, it's stuck in there, so... I think I'm gonna go ahead and cash in, or no, wait, we gotta open up that brown mystery bag, that's right. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, here it is. So let's go ahead and check it out and see if there's anything good and valuable and beneficial in there. This one feels like it's loaded up decently well, so let's see. Oh my goodness. Wow, check this out. We got six more white dice and we got another one ounce skull bar. Holy macaroni, this might be a brand new world record win today. Oh my gosh, how many white dice does that make us now? I don't know, like 12 of them or so? I think it's 12. And that is absolutely insane. Like I said, this might be a brand new world record win today. So I'm gonna go ahead and cash in that $10 chip and both of those $1 chips. That will give me an extra thousand quarters and we'll get to spin that wheel, whatever it lands on. That's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the play field. So let's call them back here. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Coin Pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in both of them $1 chips and that $10 chip. They gave me an extra thousand quarters. And we got to spin that wheel and they landed on one ounce gold bars. So as you can see, they built like four enormous towers of gold in there. Two of them are on the side, so those might give us an uphill battle. I mean, even if they do, we'll use that skill stop button. Oh nice, we got the one on the left hand side to go. And the one right there in the center. And we're about to get the one back there on the pusher. Oh my gosh, this is doing incredible. Was not expecting it to be pushing this good today. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wow, that is absolutely outstanding. Oh my goodness. It's raining gold today. Well, like I said, it might be a new record win for the money and stuff, but it also might be a new record win for the gold. Because think about it, we already won like, what, over 200 ounces of gold so far? And uh, if we can get all this gold out of here, this might make probably close to 300 ounces of gold. And if there's any more on that $50 chip round, then goodness gracious. Yeah, this honestly might be a brand new world record win for everything today. Gold, money, quarters, goodness. It's pushing pretty well though, that's for sure. I mean, you'd think with a $200 million buy-in that it has the potential to pay off enormously. 
I keep thinking you can make a couple hundred million dollars off of it, I'd say. Oh yeah, that was a fabulous push right there. This is doing amazing. And the gold bars, they're worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I think they're around like, I'm going to say $1,950 an ounce right now. Well, that's what it was a couple days ago. If somebody can let me know the exact spot price of gold down in the comments. I would highly appreciate that. One ounce of gold, by the way. Come on, big money. Get them towers. Well, it looks like there's two ounces of gold on the left and a uh, gold tower on the right side still standing. So we're going to load this thing up the quarters on that right hand side and try to get that tower to go. So anyhow, we really, really need to make a lot of money on this game right here because yesterday I did not get one winning game. That's why there wasn't a video yesterday. I just didn't want anyone to get bored with a losing game. So that's why I didn't post a video yesterday. Sorry about that, but I mean, I played like four games. And I mean, it was a losing game back to back to back to back. Like four games in a row we lost. I don't even want to say how much money I've lost right now. But I guess I'll say it anyway. We're down like $219 million. And if we lose this $200 million on this game right here, that'll make $400 million and 19, 419 million is what I meant to say. So we really, really need to get a pretty good win on this game right here. We loaded up that right hand side with quarters, so hoping it moves that gold tower nice. It just moved forward a tiny bit right there. I don't know, I think a bunch of our quarters are going to get stuck. Oh yeah, well, nice, there they go. They fell on down onto the pusher. And I'm not even going to focus on that left hand side because those two ounces of gold should fall out of there no matter what side we play on. But we do need to get a good base of quarters built up behind that gold tower. It's the only way we're going to get it to move forward at all. Or else it'll take like six or seven or eight hours to get that thing. Come on, big push. Give me something. Oh no. Well, it didn't really move much that time. Which we still need to get a base of quarters built up back there. So let's keep on stacking this thing up. Especially on that right hand side. Come on, big money. Give me something. Oh yeah, see how we're getting a bunch of quarters to go behind that tower now? Once those quarters reach that gold tower, it should start moving forward like pretty fast after that. So we'll see what happens. Let's keep on stacking this thing up. And see what I'm saying? Those two gold bars on the left hand side, they're already like right there on the edge, about ready to go into the tray. Oh yeah, about to get those two gold bars on the left. See what I'm saying? That tower on the right hand side just moved forward tremendously. Just moved again. So once again, thank you all so much for suggesting this technique. Like I said, for a while there, I was only putting like two or three or four dollars in there at a the time. It was taking like anywhere from three to eight hours to get the towers on the sides, but now it seems to be taking maybe what, an hour and a half, two hours at most. So like I've said like a hundred times already, that's a massive game changer right there. All right, so we only got a couple quarters left in the basket. That tower's moving forward now. So I'm going to try like one more round and if it doesn't get that tower, I will go ahead and cash in that $50 chip because I don't want anyone to get bored with just quarters falling down. I know that can get pretty boring for most of y'all. So anyhow, let's collect some quarters. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it going. So let's continue pushing on that right hand side. Let's put like two or three or 400 quarters in there at once. Again, let's try to get a good base of quarters built up behind that tower. It seems to be moving forward just fine at the moment. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, just move forward a little bit right there. Still got a pretty good ways to go, but I mean, it's making a lot of progress. We're getting tons of quarters right there in the center. And again, I know this can get boring for a lot of people just watching the quarters falling down. But like I said, this right here is going to be the last round, and if we don't get that, I will go ahead and cash in that $50 chip. So stay tuned for that. Let's 
gonna be pretty exciting, I think. And also, I forgot to mention this, but uh, that bounty chip that got stuck in the loot chute, whenever I called them back here to cash in that $10 chip and them two $1 chips, they counted that as a win. So we got two of them bounty chips now. I just thought I should point that out, just in case someone was wondering. Didn't want to leave anyone in the dark on that situation. So let's get that gold tower on the right side. It's moving forward pretty well at the moment. And whenever I cash in that $50 chip, like I said, they'll take all that stuff that we've lost to them side slots and they'll put it all into the play field. And who knows, that loot box might be loaded up with stuff that other people have lost playing these games today. I mean, pretty much what it all boils down to is who last won that $50 chip, because if the person before me won that $50 chip, then there's not going to be anything over from what I've lost in there. Like, it'll be the stuff that I lost and the stuff that I lost only. It's what they'll put back into the play field. But say the last person that won that uh, $50 chip was like yesterday or something, then that loot box should be loaded up pretty good with stuff that other people have lost. Hoping there's a whole bunch of gold, $25,000 chips, five and $10,000 chips. Hoping it's loaded up really well. A couple more dice would be good also. Yeah, I mean, it's possible someone could have lost some dice to them side slots. Who knows, maybe some mystery bags. And another thing I don't think I've talked about today, if that loot chute gets too full, uh, money will start to fall back inside the machine. There's this little opening area above the loot chute, and if that loot chute starts to overflow, if it gets too full, the money will just start to fall back inside the machine. I feel like they could fix that, but they know it's making them a lot of extra money. And I think they're avoiding fixing it. But like, I'd say that makes them a lot more money. Oh my goodness, there goes that tower. It got stuck against the glass though, unfortunately. So anyhow, the only way to prevent losing stuff if that loot chute gets too full is by keeping that loot chute cleared out at all times. And see, right now, since we're only winning like quarters and stuff, quarters are just falling out onto the floor. So, I mean, we don't really need to worry about losing quarters because we got a whole bunch of them. And plus, that loot chute would have to be severely full for us to start losing quarters. All right, well, let's try like one or two more pushes, and if it don't get that gold tower, I'll go ahead and call them back here. They'll probably count that as a win. That's normally what they do if something got stuck against the glass. Yeah, it's stuck in there pretty good. So let's go ahead and call them back here. And I'll ask them what they're going to do with that gold tower. Also cashing that $50 chip, so stay tuned for that. So let's call them back here. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMD Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them over here and I cashed in that $50 chip. They took everything that was down in their loot box and they put it all into the play field. And it turns out that loot box hadn't been emptied out since yesterday evening, so... Most of these chips and gold and stuff that you've seen in there is stuff that other people have lost to the side slots playing these games today and yesterday. Looks like there's a whole bunch of $25,000 chips right there. Again, someone was probably playing like a low buy-in game or something. That's normally when they'd have those low value chips in there. And those blue towers that are on the blue shelves, those are $10 chips. Oh nice, we got that tower in the center. And there's also a white mystery bag in there and I can kind of see a $5 chip in there. I think that's a $5 chip anyway. I don't know if y'all can see through it or not, but I can. So we'll get to cash in that $5 chip later on and they'll take all four of those towers that are on the blue shelves and put them into the play field. And it turns out there was two more white dice in there, so they put those on top of them $5,000 chip towers. So that'll probably make like, what, 14 of the white dice that we've won in total after we win them. And there's two gold towers on the sides we're about to get. Those are super, super close to the edge. And that tower $1,000 chips back there. 
Oh my goodness, nice. Well, there we got the towers on the right hand side to go, and nice, we got that five thousand dollar chip tower on the left. Well, that loot chute got clogged up, so let's get that cleared out real quick. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it going. So we got that loot chute cleared out. We got two more dice and that white mystery bag, so let's keep it going. I think we should be using that skill stop button to try to get that tower of gold on the left hand side. And we'll probably get that tower a thousand dollar chips here shortly. Oh nice, there it goes any moment now. Let's just stack this left hand side up with quarters. That should get both of these towers to fall down any moment. Come on. Alright, let's see what that does. Come on, big money. Oh yeah. Nice, we got that tower a thousand dollar chips. Had a gold bar on top of it. Yeah, like I said earlier, this might be a brand new world record win for the money and the gold. Goodness gracious, we got that gold tower also. And that loot chute's getting clogged up again, so let's get it cleared out. Alright, we're back. Let's keep it going. So we got that loot chute cleared out again. Oh no, it looks like we just lost like 40 grand to the gutter on the left. I mean, that's alright though. I mean, either way, most of this money and gold that was in there was bonus money anyhow. It's like I said, there was a bunch of other people that played this game before me. Played other games before me. And uh, they lost a bunch of stuff to them side slots. So, pretty much all this stuff is bonus money except for maybe like 10 or 20% of it. So... And I guess it doesn't really matter if we lose anything. I mean, I'd like to get it all out of there. Don't get me wrong. Still, I mean, I guess it's fine if we lose like 30 or 40 grand here and there. Especially if it wasn't in our game to begin with. Oh yeah, nice. We got that 20 grand on the right hand side. So we got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely outstanding. So let's go ahead and open up that white mystery bag and see if that $5 chip is in there. I think it is. Alrighty, I'm back. So here's that white mystery bag. Let's go ahead and check it out and see if that $5 chip is in there. Like I said earlier, I thought I'd seen the outline of what looks like a $5 chip. Might be wrong. We'll see. Oh yeah, nice. Check that out. So we did get the $5 chip. So we'll cash that in here in a few minutes. And check this out. We also got fifteen grand in $5,000 chips. I'll take it. And we got two more one ounce gold bars and that was it there was no dice in there or anything so that's not bad not bad at all that mystery bag was stacked up pretty well so i'm gonna go ahead and cash this in and i'll take all those towers that are on the blue shelves and i'll put them all into the play field somewhere i'll be right back all righty and coin busher has returned let's get right back to work so i cashed in that five dollar chip they took all four of them towers that was on the blue shelves and they put them all into the play field Looks like they combined it all into like one gigantic tower back there on the pusher. So let's stack this thing up with quarters and try to knock down that tower. And this right here's the last round. We don't have any more chips we could cash in. So it's been a fabulous game today so far. Let me know what you thought about this video down in the comments. And uh, like I said earlier, if you've enjoyed it so far, be sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on the post bell notifications that way you'll see more videos like this anyhow oh my goodness well i accidentally put a thousand dollar chip back in there so they'll probably count that as a win or they'll probably give me a refund for that oh my goodness and i put a 25 dollar chip back in there oh my goodness well i guess i need to do a better job of separating the chips from the quarters shouldn't i Right, so they'll probably give me those chips back after we knock down that tower whenever I decide to cash out. Because if they've seen that you've won it fair and square and it's already fallen over the edge and you've accidentally put it back in there, more than likely they'd give you a refund, so they'll probably give that right back to me. So I'm not worried about it. I'm about to get that tower right there in the center though. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, there it goes. Nice, we got it. Well, that was a boatload of $10 chips right there. About to get some $10,000 chips. Nice, there they go. Now let's get the $10 chips, then we'll get $10,000 chips, then we'll get the one ounce gold bars. Oh yeah, a lot of $10,000 chips on the edge. Nice, we got a whole bunch of them on that push right there. Nice. Two more ounces of gold. 
Yeah, we almost got the whole machine cleared out. Really not that much left in there to win. Oh yeah, two ounces of gold right there. Not bad, not bad at all. Four more to go. Let's get them. So let's keep it pushing right there in the center. I don't think we need to use that skill stop button. Yeah, we should be able to get these remaining gold bars out of there without much trouble. I hope so anyway. Come on, big push. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely exceptional. This has been a brilliant game today. Absolutely brilliant. So now I'm going to call them over here. I think we've won 22 dice in total. We got 14 of the white dice and 8 of the gold dice. They will put all 22 of them dice back there on the moving platform. And we got to roll them on down to the play field there. Whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call them back here real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it pushing. So I called them over here. They put all 22 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all end on some ginormous numbers. Oh nice, we got a six and a two so far. So that's already eight times our winnings. Nice, we got a five and another two. Oh no, well that one landed on a one. If any of them dice land on a one, just pretend they don't exist because the ones are pretty much zeros. Now one of them landed on a four and it flipped over to a two. I mean, regardless, those are still some fabulous numbers. We still got like, looks like nine more dice to roll. Oh no, well, one of them landed on a one. Oh nice, well we got two ones and the other one landed on a six. Oh my goodness, I can't keep up with all these numbers. So, all the ones on the right side did pretty decent, I guess. That gold dice landed on a one, but other than that, all those dice landed on some fabulous numbers. And also, whenever I called them back here to put all them dice back there on the pusher, they took out that $25 chip and that $1,000 chip that got stuck back there. So they pretty much gave me a refund. So I just wanted to say that just in case someone was wondering. So anyhow, I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our goal by all of that, and I'll let y'all know what we've won back from a $200 million buy-in. I'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely spectacular. I ended up winning $11,216,375 in chips, and all of them white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 45 and in total, I ended up winning $504,736,875 from a $200 million buy, and that is absolutely outstanding. That's another huge life-changing jackpot win right there. Absolutely mind-blowing. That is just insane. I am shocked right now. I can't believe we've made that much money today. That is incredible. And we also won 341 ounces of gold. And all of them gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 22. And in total, I ended up winning 7,502 ounces of gold today. And those are around $1,950 a piece. And last but not least, we ended up winning two of those bounty chips. And each one of those is worth 500 free quarters on any game I choose. So that's not bad, not bad at all for a $200 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's episode, be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I post a brand new video. So I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.